This is Into Math 3rd grade, lesson 18.4, Make Bar Graphs. I can draw a scaled bar graph to solve how many more and how many less problems. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 470. We will start under Build Understanding, uh, part one. Nola surveys the players on her soccer team about choosing a color for the team shirt. She makes the picture graph shown. Make a bar graph of the data shown in the picture graph. So let's take a look at this pic, um, picture graph or pictograph. Um, the title of this says votes for team shirt color. So we're gonna use the same title for our picture graph. And then we notice that um, we have the color here and the number of votes here. And our key lets us know that each circle represents two votes. So what we're going to do then is we're going to put the color on the bottom and then the number of votes on the side. And you'll notice that I selected um, the number of votes to go up by two because each circle was two votes. So I started with zero and then I went up two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now let's take a look at the um, picture graph here and we'll see that um, blue has two, four, six, eight. So we can say that they had four symbols that were each represented by two so that would be eight, and then they have half of a symbol, so we know that we have to add one, which gives us nine for blue. Then we took take a look at green. Green has two symbols, and we know that each symbol is worth two votes. So two times two makes four, so green has four. Then we take a look at purple. Purple has one, two, three. So we can count by twos or we can multiply three two times, which gives us six. And the final one is red. And red has one whole symbol, which we know one times two equals two but then we also have a half of a symbol. So we need to take the two and add one more to it to make three. So now we can use this information to make our vertical bar graph. So here I have created uh, four bars to match the data, uh, nine for blue, four for green, six for purple, and three for red. And you'll notice that on the blue, I went halfway between eight and 10 to represent nine. And for red, I went halfway between two and four to represent three. So let's take a look at part A. Part A asks, what number do you count by on the scale? So when we're looking at the scale, um, we're seeing here that it goes from zero to 12, and each time it goes up by two. So we can answer count by twos because each whole symbol equals two. Now let's take a look at part B. How did you know the height to draw each bar? We can explain our thinking to multiply two by the number of whole symbols for each color and then count by the same number along the scale. Add one if there is a half of a symbol. Part C asks, what equation can you write to find how many more votes blue receives than red? You may want to pause and try this on your own and come back, or you can follow along with me. We see that blue has nine uh, votes for the, the shirt, so we can write nine. And then we see that red has three, 
So we will take away those three uh, votes. And when we take um, nine, take away three, we will have the answer six. So we can answer six votes. If you would like to go back and rewatch this video, you may do so and pause along the way as needed anytime.